Good morning, Hurricanes. I'm Sarah Davidson. And I'm Lila Vargas. Coming up, we're going to be taking a look at how to get ready for finals, robotics, and the latest black hole. Now let's get started, Hurricanes. I'm getting ready by finals by making quizlets, studying hard, and getting my sleep just to focus on finals. All right, I'm getting ready for finals by sleeping a lot, getting well wasted, <laughs> rested, and studying hard for my classes, and just been doing what I have to do. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm making Quizlets, and I'm also studying with friends. I'll go meet with friends, and we'll just go over Quizlets together and work hard for our finals. So this is how you build a robot for robotics. You start with a couple screws, some metal, some nuts. And you start screwing, screwing in a couple pieces to get a base started. And then eventually, it turns into a full robot. Bada bing, bada boom. This boy's gonna come. Didn't y'all go to state? Yeah, yes. we got second at state for robotics. For Skills USA. Nice. Yes. On April 10, 2019, a group of more than 200 scientists led by Katie Wellman from over the world were able to capture our first image of a black hole located in the solar system M87. Uh, 1974, he said, uh, we really don't know what the border of a black hole is going to look like. And there's a lot of Hawking type of predictions about radiation from the border of the black hole, but what half physics don't make sense. This is big. Put into perspective, this black hole is 6.5 billion times the mass of our sun. To some, it may seem as not as tremendous of an accomplishment, but there's a lot that needs to be considered. Of particular significance, the images help validate what was long thought purely theoretical. And it's and with this image being captured, a whole new door of discovery is open. Also, for any of you wondering, what happens if you go into a black hole? Spaghettification. Your body is stretched out and compressed, and it's not very pleasant. All in all, we haven't even had a human make it on Mars, so while our technology is limited, it's very exciting to be able to capture something that distant. Hurricanes, it's Teacher Appreciation Week to celebrate all of our amazing Clint Kane teachers. On Schoology, you can submit a form showing them a message, and they will receive a certificate with that message on it. Now let's take a look at some upcoming announcements. Well, Hurricanes, that's all we have for you this week. I'm Sarah Davidson. And I'm Ali Vargas. We'll see you next week.